come to see international tutors. We are committed to bringing knowledge and skills to your doorsteps. This video is on how to run frequencies and can put the main, median, and mode in SPSS. After watching this video, you will be able to understand the basic concepts in statistics. You will be able to understand the measures of central tendency, that is the mean, median, and mode. And you will know how to compute the mean, median, and mode in SPSS. Let's start with the basic concepts in statistics. What is statistics? Statistics is a branch of mathematics that deals with the collection, organization, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of numeric data. Data refer to the records of two or more observations, and they relate to variables. Variables are characteristics of some events, objects, or persons that can take on different values or amounts. The two types of variables include qualitative variables. These are variables that are classified by attributes or categories. For example, sex can be male or female, and marital status can be single, married, separated, divorced, or widowed. We also have quantitative variables. These are variables that result from counting or measurement. For example, age, weight, height, etc. Let's look at population and sample. Population refers to the entire group from which information is required, while a sample is a part of the population that was selected as a representative of the population. A statistic is a quantity that was calculated from a sample and it is used as an estimate of the true quantity of the population, that is the population parameter. The two types of statistical methods include descriptive and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics involve the use of summary measures in the analysis and presentation of data, such as frequency distribution for qualitative variables, and measures of central tendency, and measures of dispersion for quantitative variables. Inferential statistics involve making a conclusion about a population based on information obtained from the sample drawn from it. Comparisons are made for significant difference between groups. This can be done through estimation of population parameters and hypothesis testing. Let us examine the measures of central tendency. This measures the closeness of the values that make up a data set. The common measures of central tendency include the mean, median, and mode. The mean is the appropriate measure of central tendency for a normally distributed data, that is a parametric data. The median is the appropriate measure of central tendency for a data that is not normally distributed, that is a non-parametric data. However, tests of normality should be done to know if a data is normally distributed or not, in order to know the appropriate measure of central tendency to use. Let us look at the mean. The mean, also called arithmetic mean or average, this refers to the sum of the observations divided by the number of observations. It is denoted by the symbol less bar. For example, to find the mean weight of six students with the weights shown, the first thing to do is to compute the sum of the observations. This gives 379. And then divide it by the number of observations, that is, 379 divided by 6 will give 63.17 kilograms. And so, the mean weight of the six students equals 63.17 kilograms. The median is the middle value of a set of observations when arranged in ascending or descending order. When observations are odd numbered, the median is the middle value. And so, for nine observations, the median observation is the fifth observation. When observations are even numbered, the median is represented by the arithmetic mean of the two middle values. And so for 12 observations, the median observation is the mean of the sixth and seventh observations. For example, to find the median age of seven children with the ages shown, since the observations are odd numbered, the median is the middle value. The first thing to do is to arrange the observations in ascending order as shown. And so for the seven observations, the fourth observation is the median, which equals to three years. Also, 
to find the median age of six children with the ages shown. Since the observations are even numbered, the median is represented by the arithmetic mean of the two middle values. If first introduced to arrange the observations in a certain order as shown, the median of the six observations is therefore the mean of the two middle values, that is the mean of the third and fourth observations, which equals to all three years. The mode is the most frequent number in a set of observations. For example, to find the mother age of six children with the ages shown, the age three years occurred twice. As compared to the other ages that occurred once, it is therefore the most frequent in occurring. And so the mother age of the six children equals three years. Although this video is focused on the measures of central tendency, it is important to note that the respective measures of central tendency have their corresponding measures of dispersion. The measures of dispersion measure the extent to which the values that make up a data set are separated. The common measures of dispersion include the range, intercortile range, and standard deviation. When the median is used as the measure of central tendency, that is in the case of a data that is not normally distributed, the appropriate measure of dispersion is intercortile range. When the mean is used as the measure of central tendency, that is in the case of a normally distributed data. The appropriate measure of dispersion is the standard deviation. And as such, both the measures of central tendency and the measures of dispersion are usually computed together. Let us now proceed to how to run frequencies and compute the mean, median, and mode in SPSS. The database for the analysis to be performed is available in an MSSF format at the address shown. Download the MSSF file and save it. And then import the MSSF file into an SPSS database for analysis. To import data into SPSS from MSSF, double click on the IBM SPSS icon to start the program. This opens the data editor window. This is where data entry and statistical analysis are performed. In the IBM SPSS statistics box that appears at the center of the window, select type in data and click OK. Next, click on File, go to Open and click Data. In the Open Data box that appears, locate the drive where the MSSF file was saved. To make the file visible, click on the drop down arrow in the file subtype box. And select Excel. The MSSF file is now visible. And the name, Hypertension and Obesity Study Database, appears in the file name box once you click on it. Now click Open. In the Open as a data box that appears, click OK. An untitled SPSS version of the file appears. Name and save it. To name it, click File. Click Save As. Give you the same name as the original file. And click Save. The SPSS version of your database is now available and ready for analysis. Let us now run frequencies on qualitative variables. To run frequencies on qualitative variables, click on Analyze. Go to Descriptive Statistics and click Frequencies. In the box containing all the variables in your database, move the qualitative variables to the variables box by clicking on the respective variables and moving each of them to the variables box by clicking on the arrow. After moving all the qualitative variables to be analyzed to the variables box, click on OK. 
the results of the analysis appear in the viewer window. Although all the qualitative variables were analyzed together, the results for the respective variables appear in different tables. For example, for the variable name says, the results show that there are 128 males, which constitutes 76.6% of the sample, and 39 females, which constitutes 23.4% of the sample, likewise the other variables. The final stage of the analysis is to do the descriptive analysis for the quantitative variables. To do the descriptive statistics for quantitative variables, click Analyze, go to the descriptive statistics, and click Frequencies. In the box containing all the variables in your database, select each of the quantitative variables and move each of them to the variable box by clicking on the arrow. After all the quantitative variables have been moved to the variables box, click on statistics. In the frequency statistics box that appear, go to the section for central tendency and select mean, median, and mode. Go to the section for percentile values and select quartiles. Go to the section for dispersion and select minimum, maximum, and standard deviation. Click continue. And finally, click OK. The results of the analysis appear in the viewer window. We will do all the quantitative variables to analyze together. The results for the respective quantitative variables appear in different columns. The sum shows that there are no missing values. You may assign the result and enter into your document or save the result for extraction later on. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. We'd like to inform you that the Student Friendly Statistics for Health Life and Social Sciences book is now on sale. To buy a copy or copies of the book online, Please click on the link shown to access the other form. You can also access the same international archive journals by clicking on the link shown. You want to publish with us? Please submit your manuscript at the address shown. Finally, if you want to receive notifications on our subsequent videos, please subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button.